Hey there YouTubers, JB Coins here with another video on it does matter where you live. Uh, if you've watched our videos, you've seen us shoot uh, recently a quarter box, uh, which we did really well with from a bank not in our area, uh, six, seven hours away actually. And then we recently did a penny video about a month ago that was from the same bank and uh, obviously six, seven hours away from here. And uh, we put that video up and you guys have loved it because it's uh, gotten a lot of hits. And it was probably one of the best penny boxes we've done on camera. Decided to keep that theme uh, over the holiday. We uh, made a trek and we've got a box of half dollars from the same bank. So we're gonna see if that trend continues and we hope it does. So we're gonna crack these open. And first blush looking down at the top, I see nothing but Kennedys. So we're just gonna tear into these. And what we're gonna do is we're just looking for silver. We just, right now, the goal on this box is to try and do this, if possible, live on video and just check for silver. Don't see anything. Stab this off in the hand. Got to do that at least 15, 20 times in a video, or it isn't any fun. Oop, got one stuck. That one's clearly not silver, though. And neither are they. So, just for point of clar clarification on these again, because we do get questions, there are a lot of half dollar videos on our site. Okay, there's a lot of videos on just about every denomination. There's also videos dedicated just to um, reference materials, where we look, what kind of books we have uh, used as resources. Uh, yes, to some of you, we actually do read books on this topic. Um, and uh, internet sites, things like that, so you guys can go and dig around and find this information yourself, not just from us. Um, I still don't see any silver. Um, but the question came up the last time we did half dollars that uh, were there any silver half dollars after 1964? And the answer, of course, is yes. But as we said in one of our videos, it's, it's a qualified yes. Now, the only quarters after 64 that were silver. Uh, Anything before 64, obviously, was silver, okay? In 1964, they rushed to the mint the Kennedy design. It was 90% silver, just like the Ben Franklin's before it and all the half dollars before that. That was the only year that the Kennedys were came from the mint at 90% meant for circulation, regular issue. In the very next year, 1970, they went to 40%, or excuse me, 1965. Um, trying to do too many things at one time here. So 1965, they went to 40%. From 65 to 70, they stayed 40%. After that, only special issues, uh, such as the bicentennial, there was uh, a special issue, silver, uh, and then mint sets uh, for about the last, I think, 1992 on. I'm going from memory, guys, so, you know. Um, there are silver half dollars. Uh, for example, you can go to the mint site right now, usmint.gov, and you can buy silver half dollar proofs. Um, but they're not for circulation. In fact, they stopped making half dollars for circulation a long time ago. So I'm gonna move this back so camera girl isn't poking me in the back all the time. <laughs> Cause it's getting hard for her to shoot this while we're doing this, I'm getting too close. So um, 
If you check our other videos, like I said, this one we're kind of just trying to rush through here, catch this live if we can, make the video short enough to get through all these box, all these rolls, and see if we can't find some silver, because this bank has been very, very good to us. Um, so reference information, that kind of stuff, check out our other videos uh, if you can. Uh, and we appreciate all the likes and the shares and uh, the site's really taken off in the last month or so. Um, we've, we've noticed a really big bump in, uh, in viewership, uh, especially, like I said, those last couple of videos. Um, and uh, subscribers are still growing strong, which is nice. Uh, so please continue to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and, uh, you know, visit, visit your local coin shows. Um, check out some of the, um, look up, look up the term error coin, for example, on the internet. Uh, there, there are some out of print books, one which we found, which is in that video that we shot, uh, specifically about error coins. Um, coin week puts out a lot of information. They make a magazine. They also do YouTube videos on really cool coins that are at their convention at the shows, which you're not going to see in any kind of videos like, like this, uh, where these people find these things. Uh, you know, they all have a story about where they got them or where they bought them uh, at an auction or something like that. But, um, you know, they didn't get them coin roll hunting. Let's put it that way. Um, so, so far, we're striking out on the silver, guys. Um, but, you know, pretty much every transaction that you do, if you still use real, real money, if you want to call this real money, uh, compared to plastic or paper, um, or if you're using paper, you know, you're going to get change. I hope that you always glance at your change because shiny edges, you know, shiny brand new coins, that one's a 94, pretty well trashed. But um, one of our viewers just uh, wrote in the last day or two, uh, wrote a message to us, said that he uh, got 10 rolls of quarters from his local bank and opened them up and the very first coins that popped out were brand new issue harper's ferry denver mint and he quickly went and put his white gloves on he said and went through them and wanted to know why so many of them had scratches on them well haven't had a chance to reply to him yet i can reply to him here in the video if he sees this video uh, but i'll reply to him online as well um, as a lot of you know, but newcomers like like this viewer don't know that even though it's brand new circulation, in his case, he's got he's got brand new issue. Um, because they're not going into proof sets, they're not hand set into the rolls. So uh, we've had questions about the circle that's formed on the end of the roll. That's from the rolling process. Uh, those little nicks and scratches um, are called bag marks um, because the coins as they fall out and go in do that and they nick and bang each other up um, so yeah unfortunately that's normal uh, that's why if you go through a new issue like that and you find coins that are really pristine which I th believe he said he found a few um, those are the ones you set aside unless of course you find something that is not as it should be um, then of course you set those aside whatever condition they're in and, and do a little research on what you found um, still no silver let's see what else can we cover while we're doing this just in case um, Oops. Oh, other question, bicentennials. In fact, there's two of them right there that just fell out. Some people are starting to set these aside, and we've actually started setting them aside if they're in good condition, really nice shape. Uh, when we started coin roll hunting half dollars a few years back, they probably made up at least 10% of what was in every box of half dollars. 
uh, we're starting to see that decline a little bit. And a few folks have commented on our site in the last couple of years. Um, you know, what happens if they take them out of circulation? What happens if people stop collecting them? The ones that are getting more and more trashed, eventually they'll probably get taken out of circulation and melted. Uh, so what happens to the really nice ones? And, you know, I thought that was a pretty, uh, pretty smart observation because uh, if somebody had taken a bunch of uh, rolls of new issue coin back 30, 40 years ago, and set it aside, um, you know, nowadays people be going, wow, that was really smart. Um, and there were people that did that, obviously, or we wouldn't have a lot of the specimen coins we've got. Um, so here's one that's all messed up. See, people do all kinds of weird stuff to coins. They just, they just hack them up. It's a 74, it's clad, not silver. Um, I don't know, maybe that's his way of marking it instead of using a magic marker on it. Um, whoops. Can you tell I just got done driving that six or seven hour drive? <laughs> Wanted to get this up for you. Oh, jackpot. See it? Right there. That should be silver. Benji, 58 nice and that's in really pretty pretty good condition for that age too that is cool very nice 1958 Benji we'll put him down there and let's see if we can't find some of his buddies but you could see that one how how that really stuck out um, a lot of times I miss them and uh, so I usually go through the pile, you know, even though I'm throwing them off to the side here real quick. I usually go through the pile because, as I've said in a lot of the videos, my vision is not as good as it used to be. And, uh, you know, so I've actually gone through the pile sometimes, especially on dimes because they're smaller, and, uh, and found them on the second pass-through. Um, looking at the at the date actually and um, and finding them that way uh, but that's cool to find a Benji um, in the last there's a there's a good point probably to bring up since we shot the last video a month ago silver spot price which we have a video on that what spot price means and versus what you pay for it all and all that uh, spot price of silver has gone up close to three bucks in like the last month. Uh, when we're shooting this video here, Fourth uh, of July weekend, it of 2016, spot price is almost back up to 20 bucks. Um, now you you can't buy it for that unless you're really lucky. But oh yeah, there's another one. Let's see get this down here where camera grill can see it Kennedy 64 nine, another 90 percenter that works we'll take it oh that one 64 another 90 percenter that one almost got by me I almost thought that was a clad see so we're hitting it it does matter where you live. It really, really does. This this bank is just kicking butt. Um, and it made me completely lose my train of thought. <laughs> That's all right. This is fun. Um, trying to rip these open so I can stay in the camera shot for camera girl and not drop them. And then you find silver and you get all excited. Um, let's see. I see that the video is getting starting to head towards long, and we just hit the halfway point on the box, but that's okay because we're finding silver. And we're finding it easy enough that you guys can see what it looks like and how you find it.
And trust me, try and tear through a box like this this fast, uh, or like Camera Girl holding the camera, trying to keep it steady uh, for this long, it's it's not easy. Uh oh. Sixty-seven, forty percenter. You got any more in there? Nope. Boy, we're we're doing really well. This is this is good. We haven't seen this kind of a score in a half dollar box in a, in a quite a while. So. Some of those cleds are really beat up on the edge. There's no reading left at all. But if they were silver, even though the reading was gone, it would still be that that nice that nice white silver color. It would not be pink like the clad ones when they get all flattened out like that. funny you drive all day in the car and you know you got this in the in the trunk and you're like a little kid all excited wanting to get home to do this don't see anything obvious no those look clad like I said we'll double check afterwards just in case we missed one but usually they're as obvious as the four you've seen so far uh, but every once in a while they get past us um, you know, it just takes a little bit of dirt in the right place and right light, and you just, and then throw in my crappy vision, and you wind up missing a few every once in a while. But so far, this box, they've been really obvious. I'm still stoked about the Benjamin. Through, through the mic, uh, screwdriver almost off the table. Um, so anyway, the point is, I know a lot of you guys have been sending in comments that you're either getting back in the hobby or you're new to the hobby, um, and I get comments every once in a while from folks that have been in the hobby a long time that don't understand that a lot of these, a lot of you folks are, wow, that's a really nice bicentennial, no, um, are starting from scratch. You don't have 20, 30 years of, of tearing through coins and reading books and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, so if you, if you have and something seems blatantly obvious to you that I'm missing, um, you know, great, point it out, point it out politely. Um, but there's the majority of our viewers from what we can tell are, I don't think this is one, but Grab the wrong one, even. I just think that's dirt. Yep, 72. Um, are commenting that they're either new to the hobby or they used to do it when they were a kid and they're just now getting back into it. Um, so they're they're learning, okay? So we don't want to give them, try, try giving them 30 years of coin knowledge and every error, variety, phrase, whatever it might be, in one video. It's not possible. We have a, almost 160 videos that we've shot over the course of a couple of years, and we still have people ask us, you know, why don't you do a video about, well, yeah, we did like five of them. <laughs> they just haven't found them yet, okay? So if you guys are one of those folks that says, hey, why don't you shoot a video about, check out our channel, take a good look, see, we might have shot one six months, a year ago, um, you know, the information should still be valid, okay? Unless you're asking about something in the last six months or a year that's happened in the coin world or a new, t a new issue coin, 
um, you know, something from this year's issues, that kind of thing. Um, but um, scope out the videos, man. There's there's a ton of them up there, you know. And I know some of you do because you you tell us you do, and we really appreciate that. Um, we're getting close. We're getting close. I know it's a long video, but we got silver. <laughs> go by pretty quick here. Come on. Nope. And yeah, I know there's coins that we talk about in all our other half dollar videos about looking for errors, looking for varieties, what the years are and all that. Go check out one of those videos if you want to find out what coins you should be looking for besides just looking for silver. The point of, to the, of this video today is simply opening the rolls as quickly as possible, looking at the side, can you find silver? Yeah, obviously you can, okay? So I know I'll get the questions. So just trying to give you the information before you ask the question. That's not the purpose of this one. <laughs> and considering we've targeted silver, um, this one seems to be doing pretty well. Camera girl usually catches a break by now. Um, nothing. Nine rolls left. I'd be happy with what we got, but it wouldn't hurt to get another one. You can always get another one. Not that roll. So the next time somebody comes up to you and says, "Ah, you can't find silver nowadays," okay? July 2016, live on camera. You saw silver, okay? Um. Based on the spot price, which is what I was talking about earlier when I forgot what I was talking about, it's gone up like uh, to around $20. It's just under $20 spot price uh, going into the holiday weekend. And so if you were to go to a coin shop and try and buy one of those, 40% uh, is probably about $2.50, $2.50. 90 percenter i believe is probably going to be around six or eight bucks something like that depends on the condition obviously but just straight melt spot scrap cull whatever you want to call it junk silver um that's put that's that's kind of a ballpark because i obviously have been away and haven't had a chance to check on coinflation or on pcgs to see what they're going for and of course this one's not going to cooperate opening <sighs> there we go but you know it gives you a rough idea anyway because the price moves constantly this last week it's been unreal it moved a buck and a quarter i think just the one day when they had the brexit vote um i believe the day after um or it could have been two days after i'm not sure um it's going to continue to be volatile. It'll go up, it'll go down, but over time, it will go up. And if we have a Brexit type event uh, or another economic meltdown like we had in uh, 2008, silver is not going anywhere. Silver has been the metal, one of the metals, along with gold and bronze and a few others um, that have been used by royalty governments, uh, even states, territories, um, ancient civilizations. Uh, they recently dug up some 10,000 year old Israeli coins or something, I think. And of course, they're always finding old Roman coins all over the place. Uh, they're thousands of years old that are silver. Um, 
plus the industrial metal use side. But of course, if, if industry collapses with the economy, then who cares about the industrial metal value, right? But the point is, silver isn't going anywhere. In fact, it's rarer uh, than gold in terms of how much there is available. Um, so, um, and it's used in more things. So, it's only going to get scarcer. So, don't give up hope. Keep grabbing boxes. Half dollars, quarters, and even nickels, dimes, right? And you'll find silver. It's still out there. Um, and that roll is the last one. Box is empty. Recap, live on camera. There's a, a 58 Benji, 90%. 64 Kennedy, 90%. 64 Kennedy, 90%. And a 67 Kennedy, 40%. Okay? So not a bad 25 minutes worth of work. We got $2 face value that comes out of our pocket. The rest we can take back to the bank and get our $498 back into our account. But we've got... 18 20 bucks worth of silver that's about the equivalent of a silver eagle um, so until next time hope you guys enjoyed this i hope we got some information in there besides the fact that you got to see some silver come out which is cool um but uh the video is extremely long uh hope you guys had a great weekend hope you enjoyed finding the silver with us and thanks for all the comments Continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, JB Coins, signing off.